Hello, we come to another jar of making of the homemade meads. Uh, greetings, fellow YouTubers. So we're going to make a uh, habanero mango peach mead. And it's going to be delicious. The base for our liquid is a uh, orange peach mango. I think that that'll complement the habanero is quite nicely. Now Jessica is coming to see me for my birthday, and uh, I says to Jessica, I says, "You give me some heads up, and I'll be sure to have, you know, I'll be sure to have a jar of mead ready to go." To start off our mead, we're gonna need. <laughs> see what I did there? I made a rhyme. Two cups of pure cane granulated sugar. I'm showing you cool cobras how to make your own hooch, alcohol, whatever. Mead is basically a honey wine. And uh, you gotta be 21 and up to make it and consume it, so. Yeah, if you decide to make it and you're not old enough, uh, make it your own risk. I am not responsible for your ass getting in trouble. There we go, two cups of sugar. Now, you want to use pure cane granulated sugar. That's what I use for my meads. And the process for making this mead is pretty straightforward. Like starting it anyways. And let's see what else we need. Oh yes, the honey. You can use whatever honey you like, but I like to use uh, local hive Rocky Mountain honey. It's raw and unfiltered, raw and un unfiltered. Like my fucking smart mouth, okay. Making some mead, making some mead. Mm. That's good honey. I actually have this uh, Mike's Hot Honey Extra Hot, but I think I'll save that for a different mead. And we're just going to dump the entire thing here. We're going to get as much of it out as we can. And then once it stops dripping, we're going to then, YouTube, we're going to take some cold water from the sink and swish it around in the honey container to get the excess honey out and just throw it in there. Yeah. I don't know, like, I've always wanted to try making my own wine, and then one day I just decided to start doing it, and I haven't looked back. This is a really, really fucking fun hobby, dude. It is my birthday month, YouTube, so if you want to help Cobra celebrate his birthday, please consider donating to Cash App or PayPal. I'll give you a shout-out. Okay, that's looking pretty dried out. Hold up. That's some cold water from the faucet. One second. We're just some, yeah, some nice cold water here. And before we add the uh, the dull juice and the yeast, we're going to add everything else. So you add some water to our container, give it a shake, shake it and keep it sexy as Tipsy Bartender once famously said. All right. That's pretty drained. There we go. Now, before we add our habaneros and all that goodies, we're going to add some things like uh, right here I have sliced peaches and sliced mangoes, both 100% juice from Signature Select. Both of these are in like a nice heavy syrup. This one's going to require a can opener, but this one, nah, we don't need no stinking can opener for the peaches one at least. Just 
throw it in there. Oh, Joey, you get to watch Cobra use a can opener. This will be fun. Let's watch the fucking retard with his fucking can opener skills. And one of these can openers I have fucking sucks. So let's hopefully I grab the right one here. Or the good one at least. And would you look at that? I grabbed the right one. Oh, look at that. Disappointment from my YouTube trolls because uh, <laughs> they're assholes. I need a fork to help, help open that lid up. I don't want to cut myself on that freshly. Uh... Yeah, I grab a fork and. Ugh. You gotta be careful when you're doing this. See, I'm just taking a fork. I got it open. The lid, there we go, was stuck on the inside. We don't want that. Throw the mangoes and the peaches in there. Delightful. Before I go any further with this, though, I'd like to give it a mix. So we're gonna grab. I knock everything all over the fucking counter. God damn it. Where the fuck's the other cup go? Oh, for fuck's sake. One fucking mead making video where I don't fuck up and make an ass of myself. That's all I ask. There it is. Fucking Christ. <sighs> okay, so we'll put that back in there just like that. Okay. It's all good in the hood, YouTube. We're gonna grab this, our magical wooden spoon here. And we're gonna take the honey and the sugar and the peaches and the mangoes. And we're gonna just kind of stir it around real quick. And give that a nice, a nice mix. You know, those are mixed, got that mixed up. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a tasty mead for sure. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, uh, our habanero peppers. And I wasn't quite sure how to do this next point, but I'm like, you know what, let's just uh, take them um, kind of, I mean, do we have to rip the stems off? Not really, we just kind of, yeah, I'm going to just tear them in half with my fingers and throw them in there. Kind of give them a pop and a squeeze. All that's going to get filtered out in like 12 days anyway. So like 12 days from now, we're going to pour our mead to a strainer. Yeah, instead of trying to cut them in half, we're just going to take the habaneros and just tear them in half with my finger, just like that. Just throw it in there. Tear them in half, throw them in there. Throw them in there. Pop it, lock it, and there we go. These are from the Melissa's Habanero Pepper Company. And we're going to go ahead and stir those peppers into our mead. Let me move my glass of deliciousness to the side. So right now we're just going to take... Those uh, mangoes and those peaches, and those habaneros and that honey and that sugar. And stir it around. 
stir it around town. Oh yeah, that'll be tasty for sure. Oh yeah, there we go. The sweetness of everything definitely overpowers like the heat of the habanero, but you can definitely taste it. Now for the juice, we're going to add for our base liquid, we're going to add 100% Dole Juice Orange Peach Mango YouTube. Take a look at that, not a sponsor. And we're going to throw it into our, into our jar here. By the time my birthday come around, man, this mead's going to be done, son. So let's just throw this juice in here. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Oh, that is fucking beautiful. I love when a plan comes together. That is just the right amount of juice for our mead. And there's a little bit of room at the top to give it room to burp and ferment and do its thing. Oh, that's beautiful, YouTube. Honey habanero mango peach mead. And you know what? We might add a little bit of this Mike's Hot Honey just for a kick. Because, uh, yeah, you know. Woo, Jesus Christ, that honey smells hot. <laughs> oh, man. Yikes. Okay, so I want to pour a little bit of honey in there for fl flavor. Oops, did I pour the whole thing in there? Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, so we put some hot honey in there for f extra heat. Mm. How hot is this honey? Let's try it. Yeah, that, that's got a bite to it. That has got a fucking bite to it. This would be a really nice, like, uh, spicy, spicy sweet. Yeah, that, ooh, that honey's got some sting to it, folks. All right, we clean that jar out. What the fuck is this hot honey made with, dude? Goddamn. That's a spicy meat to bottle, as they say. I am going to dump some of this liquid out, because... Not all of it, though. Just enough. Some of them, some of them might go in the airlock. That's all right. And I think, like, the sweetness of this... God damn, dude, that hot honey is no bullshit. Yeah, after licking the spoon, that's definitely going to be hot enough. Now we're going to add one capful of yeast nutrients. One capful in there, just like that. And then we're going to add a little bit of our yeast. And the yeast I'm using for this batch is going to be, one second, that hot honey definitely burned the tip of your tongue nicely. I have a beautiful uh, Altec, Alcoltec Turbo Yeast, Pier 48. 
It'll ferment alcohol into 20% in a week. It takes about 48 hours to ferment. So I'm gonna throw in like one third of a cup of that in there real quick. Mm. And now that we have all of our ingredients assembled into our said mead, we're gonna stir those around. I got my trusty spoon. I'll trusty spoon. I want to stir it around. Now we're going to take and stir that yeast and the nutrients. And if a little bit goes in the airlock, that's just all right. We can always wash the airlocks out. I don't know, when I tried to like lick in the spoon after I added everything, minus the hot honey, there was a little bit of heat to it, but not a whole lot. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? So I'm like, yeah, why not? We'll throw the little extra honey in there, ain't gonna hurt. Let's really fucking stir this around. Double, double boiling trouble. <laughs> you want some close up of me stirring it around? Like I said, we're going to stir this motherfucker around. Stir it. Stir it around. You fuckers. Stir that around. Oh yeah, that'll be tasty for sure. All right, let's try a lick on the spoon, see how we're doing on the profile of it. That's really good, YouTube. Even though I added the hot honey to it, the sweetness of everything dumbs down the heat just a little bit. That makes for a very nice, tasty profile. I'm liking that. That's beautiful. All right. Now you know what's next. We're going to add the lid in the airlock. And the trolls can suck on my cock. Nice and tight like a toyga. Throw some water in our lock. A little bit of water in our airlock's all we need. We don't need a whole lot. That will do it. Okay, I lost the cap to my airlock, but I reused a water bottle cap to top it off, and it works just fine. Pop it back in there, just like that. Oh. I don't need to be in there all the way now, but just enough to... Do a thing. Okay. Perfect. That is looking beautiful, YouTube. And there is a crack in my lid. That's why I'm going to add some painter's tape to the lid to keep it from, you know. I am loving the profile on this habanero mead, YouTube. It should do just nicely. Even though I added the hot honey to it. You can barely tell, because everything in there is already so fucking sweet with the mangoes and the peaches and the everything else. It actually creates a really nice flavor profile. And if you like watching me make mead, subscribe for more! And for the next 12 days... This meat is going to age. I'm going to let the fruits and the peppers in there ferment and do their thing.
Booyah! We got mead. Now we're gonna stick our jar of deliciousness into the fermenting closet it goes. <laughs> By the time my birthday come around, man, them goddamn meat will be done. So there you go. There's that. I want to show you real quick. There it is. I'll see you in 12 days when we go to filter it.